Hello everybody. Welcome to Scared Sketchless. I'm Sydney here with Adam. Hey. <laughs> and this is the third OC redraw. Yep. Right? Yes, yeah. third OC redraw. And this time we're actually doing a fan's OC redraw. Um, his name is Tree Theory EXBL642. We'll have all his information. Uh, I think he wanted to link us to link to one of his videos and his channel. Uh, so that'll all be in the description below. So go check him out. But this is the piece he actually sent us in as his OC. Oh. Now it's a little messy. He of drew course. it on his phone. It's very. Uh, I, I've seen his stuff on his channel. He draws better than this usually. Mm -hmm. But this is hella messy. Yes. Um, but still, the idea was there. Mm -hmm. So, um, first of all, what do you think of this dude's OC? I think it's a good concept. Mm -hmm. Like, I like all of the mm -hmm. green and gray that really matches really well. Yeah. It's just, like you said, it's really messy. Yeah, the execution was done poorly. But um, but he has, like, a bunch of notes on the side, like, moving camera eyes. I'm guessing that's, like, from this, the new Spider-Man from the... The Marvel stuff. He has camera lens eyes kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Jacket has patches and rip as I, rips. Uh, you'll see in my picture. I didn't do any of the rips and stuff. Uh, but yeah, and he has a gun. Guns are my specialty. I might do a video <laughs> on how to draw a gun because I think I have it. I have a good. Do have yeah, but let's go ahead and start watching okay. the the deal. Um, but if, if I mean, if somebody would like to see that, a video on how to draw guns. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna okay. do it. It'll be good. Well, see, I feel like you were at an advantage here because yep. you've drawn stuff like this before. I have. I love drawing stuff like because this because you uh -huh. have your own little comic that you've been working on. Yeah. Off and, and on and off yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here I was trying to draw um, the gun, mm -hmm. uh, um, but I kept messing up because I, I like to draw the profile view. And stuff, and then try to draw the gun from the side. But then I remember, if you actually use the like transition, what is a transform tool, and just free deform, free deform. That's With it. With your perspective side. turned yeah. up all the way. Yeah, and you, you just get this perspective. Yeah, you just change the perspective and then draw the other side of it. And so, like, you can do that with hands and stuff too. Yes, yes. yes. So if you guys have trouble with foreshortening, you can do like, that. I um, do that with t-shirt designs. A yeah. lot. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up uh, with this dude. Uh, I kind of liked his color scheme of black and green and gray. Mm -hmm. uh, I ended up changing it a little bit. His mask is like mostly gray and the, the gas mask was... I'm assuming it's a gas mask. Um, I took some creative liberties with that. And I made it look more like a gas mask that goes high up on the nose. And I gave him... Um, well... I made it... I don't know. It kind of... I was just looking at regular gas masks. Because I've been playing at um, The Division lately. Yes. That one game. And yes. there's... Like, one of the pieces of gears you have here is, like, a gas mask. Uh-huh. So I kind of based it off that. And then I gave his whole Under Armour look kind of, like, a base layer of, like, Kevlar and then metal plating above that. Um, and I... I I ended up giving him a zip up kind of hoodie, a sleeveless hoodie. I kept the the sleeveless hoodie thing, mm -hmm. but I cleaned it up and I gave him little little, little belt pouches to make him look a little bit more tactical instead of messy with the the, the vest just kind of hanging yeah. over. Um, but other than that, I tried to keep the double straps on the legs, added some extra carrying knickknack deals. Um, but yeah, dude, I I kind of want to get to the coloring like this. Line work is taken <laughs> forever. Hold oh, on, I should just okay. get this part up. But uh, but yeah. So what do you what do you think so far about? I think it looks really good. Like yeah. you do creases and mm -hmm. all these folds really well. Whenever I still have trouble with it, sometimes. But your style is a lot simpler. It's so simple. No, it's not <laughs> See, bad, if, but it's different. Like I can't draw what you draw. If you notice with mm -hmm. Adam's stuff, he will zoom in and do oh, yeah. little details yeah. in anything. Like, like, with this fucking gun. <laughs> the trigger, like, even the trigger, like, I put a little triangle thing in there, and, like, in the final piece, you cannot see that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't and, like, see that. even, like, where the, the bullets go from the magazine in the back, um, they're, like, you can see the little, like, receiving chamber mm -hmm. deal. And I put little stuff in there. <laughs> 
But I, I, I wanted to talk about his gun a little bit. So, in his original design, he had I, I couldn't really make out where the magazine was. I could tell there was a grip. It in the looks front. like it's right there. I think it wouldn't be there though. It wouldn't be in the front. Like she's looking at the picture right now. She's talking about the grip in the front. Um, because if the magazine went there, mm -hmm. then like it, the barrel would have to be like two inches Super long. Super short. Yeah. So it wouldn't really work. <laughs> See, Adam's the gun guy. I have no idea what but, is going on with guns. Yeah. Oh, do you want to explain what oh, happened? <laughs> so there might be a little bit of coloring differences. Like right now, um, I'm coloring the hoodie, but what ended up happening was Psy crashed as I was doing this. Like I was just getting done with like the face mask and stuff, and Psy crashed, and I lost all the coloring. I had all the line work, but I lost all the coloring. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to keep the footage and then catch up to where I was. <laughs> and if you're an artist, you know that pain. Oh, it's so painful, it's, dude. You want to cry after hours of work is just gone. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I, had to, I had to just redo all that and then catch up and then start recording again from where I left off. This I tried to match it up pretty well, but I think I missed some stuff. Well, this is a good point. Mm. Save early and save often, uh, just like they well, taught me in personal finance. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes like... The edit, the recording software crashes. Of you course, know, and you just lose the footage or yes. something because that's the that's horrible it. part about working with <laughs> electronics. Um, oh, I noticed that with his original drawing, he actually had like this elbow pad on one of his hand on one of his arms. Uh huh. And I, he only has one elbow pad on this one. Oh, see that? So did I kind of keep it? He has like a grappling hook too, and I took some creative liberties with that and kind of uh, made my own little it, thing. You it's made a, it look. Well, it sounds weird, but mm. you made it look a little bit more simpler. Like, he added mm -hmm. all these patches and stitches and all these scratches and stuff. Yeah. And you made it more simple where there's yeah. no really any patches. He looks more mm. clean. There's no, like... Yeah. There's nothing really messy with it. Like, yeah. you... I feel like the difference with you and him right yeah. now is that he doesn't really know how to shade yet. No, no. And it's something to work on, I agree. Yeah. But, like, I understand where it's coming from because I'm yeah. like, oh, well, maybe if I use mm -hmm. this black, it'll be like a shade. Right. Yeah. And, like, I feel like this guy, if he re if he really worked on proportions and, like, the neatness of his stuff, yes. he probably... Because his ideas are there, mm -hmm. but his execution isn't. Well, and, um... Sorry, go ahead. What else I feel is that he uses too many sharp angles. Yeah, yeah. Like... It makes it look like a... Yes, yeah, yes, yes. If mm -hmm. you learn how to round mm -hmm. things, like, it will make it so much better. I know, I understand yeah. everything's made with shapes, yep. but not everything's made with, like, angled shapes, like yeah, triangles and squares. Shapes, yeah, some more organic stuff going in there. Yeah, and also, like, for the, like, the sake of redrawing purposes, mm -hmm. um... You want your character to be simplified to a point where you can redraw them quickly and often, but not. I mean, if if unless you want to go for the style of super simple, mm -hmm. um, you you kind of have to have that middle ground of like not too detailed and not too plain. Too simple. So like I think like all the little lines in his jacket that he originally drew, I took out. Nice mm -hmm. clanking of the plates there. <laughs> but keep it so messy around here. Um, but, um, yeah, like, I don't know, I, I'd say simplify because the mask was a kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really angular. But the video's <laughs> over. Um, let's go ahead and show you the finished guy. Okay. What do you think of my dude? Hmm? There is a huge difference. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. Uh -huh. It's just good criticism. Yeah. But I noticed, like, you have so many round, like, you've given it mm -hmm. detail in life. And Thanks, <laughs> I understand, I understand this guy's just starting out. Because, yeah. like, whenever I was a freshman, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can't draw boobs. I yeah. can't draw hips. <laughs> I can't draw a waist. I can't draw a face. Yeah. And then, like, if you keep working at it, you get, like, so much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um,. But let's let's look at a before and after right quick of my guy, the tree theory. Okay. EXBO. Mm -hmm. Some numbers following. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <It'll be on laughs> <the screen. laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I, I like the way it turned out. I did notice that I did mess some things up. Uh, one of his knees 
the one that's going straight down is a little bit smaller than the oh, other. Oh, it is. And uh, <laughs> I was just too lazy to fix it. And the actual angle of the gun barrel coming off the top is a little bit off. Uh, it should be angled a little bit more. Um, but I feel like some people will think we're lazy whenever mm-hmm. in actuality. You put five hours of work into I this did. piece, I did. I five hours you? of work into this. But... You know, I think I think you know it turned out pretty mm-hmm. good. Uh, I if I could change some stuff though, I would. Um, I I'd probably just fix I'd fix those things, and maybe if I had more time, I might have added like some more. I wouldn't have added scratches onto his clothing or rips or anything, mm-hmm. but like onto his armor, I would have added some scratches and bullet like impact marks and stuff. Yeah, that would have been kind of cool. But other than that, I think you know. I think it looks really yeah. good. But I'd say the advice to Tree Theory, uh, make sure your character looks good from all angles. Like, um, one problem with the hoodie is that from the side, you kind of cover up most of their face if you draw the hoodie correctly. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you want them to have a good profile, so... Like, the gas mask is a good idea to fix that. Adam but, should so. know. He's good at drawing profiles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I can draw. <laughs> um, but, like, you'll notice with some artists that they have, like, their side yeah. covered up and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's not good because you want to get, like, a, mm-hmm. okay, here's what the character looks like from the front. Here's what the character looks for, from the side and yeah. from the back. Yeah. So, you know, um, anyways, I think that about wraps up our third video of OC Redraw. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah. Anything else you'd like to say? Not really. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't really think of anything. Alright, guys. Well, uh, peace and butt grease. Bye. Bye.